Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you what is a socket. And we'll also see how to establish a connection between a client and a server using sockets. So let's begin. Now first of all, what is a socket? In simple terms, a socket is an endpoint of communication between applications. So a socket is basically used for sending and receiving messages over a network. Okay, so for sending a message, we need a socket. And similarly, for receiving a message, we need a socket. Now we'll just write a small program to establish a connection between a client and server using sockets. So I'll just start my Eclipse. And as you can see, I've already created two classes over here. One is for the client and the other one is for the server. Now we'll just start by writing the server application first. Now just one more point, even while running, we'll have to run the server application first. And why is that? That is because unless our server is up and running, our clients will not be able to establish a connection with it. Okay. So it is important to run the server application first, right? So let's start off with our coding. Now, the first thing which I'm going to do over here is create a server socket object. So I'll just write server socket SS is equal to new server socket, right? And this class is not uh, readily available. So we'll have to import it. And as you can see, it's a part of the java.net package. Okay. And now whenever we'll uh, create any socket related objects, the compiler will expect us to surround the code uh, with a try catch block or use the throws declaration. Okay. So it's a good practice to uh, surround uh, our code with a try catch block. So I'll just click over here. And as you can see, Eclipse has generated the try catch block for us. Right? Yeah. Now uh, I've created the server socket object. Now I'll have to bind this server socket object to a particular port number. Right? So I just enter some random port number over here. Okay. Now uh, by doing this, what is happening is this server socket object will get binded to this particular port number, right? Yeah. Now, uh, yes. So after this, uh, yeah, just one more point, this server socket object will be used for accepting incoming client connection requests. Okay. Now, uh, as I said, for communication, we need a socket, right? So this socket is not going to be used for communication. Okay then what is the purpose of using it? The only purpose of using it is it will be used for accepting incoming client connections, right? Yeah, that is the purpose of a server socket. Now, how do we get a socket object then? So for that, we have a method called as accept. So I just say ss dot accept. Yeah, and this method uh, will be accepting our incoming client connections. So whenever the program execution will come at this point, it will be waiting for incoming client connections. And as soon as a connection is accepted, this method will return a socket object. Okay. And that socket object, we will capture it in a socket reference. So guys, this is the socket which will be used for communication. Okay. So uh, again, we'll have to import it because this class is not available. Yeah. So I'll just give a quick revision. So the server socket object uh, is used for accepting incoming client connections. And uh, it has a method called as accept. And what this method will do, it will accept incoming client connections, right? Or it will be waiting for incoming client connections. And as soon as a connection is accepted, it will return a socket object. Now this socket object will be used for communication, right? So we are done with uh, writing the uh, code for our server. Now just uh, a few points. I uh, will just add a few uh, statements over here so that we'll understand the flow of the program. So I'll just write sysout and I'll write uh, waiting for client. Okay. And after accepting, we'll say sysout connection established, right? Yes. So we are done with writing the code for our server. 
now we'll move on to uh, our client now again uh, as i said uh, we'll need a socket on both the sides that is we'll need a socket on the server and we'll need a socket on the client now on the server side we already have a socket right so we'll have to create a socket on the client side as well so i'll just say socket soc is equal to new socket and now this socket uh, object it takes two parameters one is the ip address and the other one is the port number so if you recollect i've said that uh, if an application wants to communicate with uh, another application over network then it basically needs two things one is the ip address and the other one is the port number so even in this case our socket needs two things one is the ip address of the server and the port number of the server right now in this case since our server is on this machine itself we don't have to specify any uh, any specific ip address so we can just say localhost okay and localhost means the ip address of this particular system right and again we'll have to pass the uh, the port number as well and we already know the port number over here which is 9800 right so we've created our socket object and again the same thing we'll have to import the class and surround this with a try catch right and i'll just remove this one try uh, one catch block and uh, write a common catch block okay yeah so it's done and just uh, a statement over here to indicate the start of our client right yeah so now uh, it's time to run the program and see if we get the correct output now as i said we'll have to run the server application first so i am just running the server and as you can see it has displayed this line which is waiting for client and now uh, as soon as i start my client this connection will be accepted by the server socket and it will create a socket object and after that this statement will get printed so let's check if we have written the uh, right code now i'm running this the client and as you can see connection has been successfully established now guys there are uh, two consoles over here uh, if you go over here then you can see one is for the server and the other one is for the client and for the if we go to the client then it ha it states client has started and if we go to the server then it says connection has been established so guys uh, that's how we establish a connection between a client and server using sockets so that's it for now thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial